Hi guys, uh, Gareth Ford in the city restaurant with rooms in Cundiff. Uh, today we're going to cook you a beautiful piece of Welsh lamb. This is local to me. You can get this in any butcher or supermarket. Recipe's raw. Hope you enjoy sauce for tea, well, 40 minutes to an hour. Uh, let's get cooking. So, as you can see, I've prepped this down, but obviously you can ask your budget for this cut. I'm just going to trim it down a little bit because there's a little bit of excess. But I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to put it in here. So what you've got here, obviously you've got the recipe for this. This is a really nice quality soy sauce and a little bit of sake. So this is going to make you a nice, almost like a lamb sauce. But not a classical lamb sauce, but it takes about 24 or 48 hours to produce massive pans of stock. And this is just using some quality ingredients and a little bit of lamb trim. And it's amazing. So we're going to chop this lamb trim up. I'm just going to put it in this pan and then you've got this skin on the outside so you just get a sharp knife and just get rid of that outside skin underneath that outside skin you've got this lovely waxy fat that's what you want that's going to go nice and crispy all this trim put it in this pan so this here so we're just going to pop this on the stove we're going to let that just sit there at a low temperature for about half an hour so then we're just going to give this a little score. So we're scoring this mainly for presentation so it looks really nice. But obviously you, then you're letting, I'm going to season the outside of this and the salt's going to get inside. Also, it's going to help render that fat down as well. If it's a solid block, it's going to render down harder when you cut it like this. The fat will render down faster. Just a little bit of salt. Rub a bit of salt into that skin on the outside. Just season it all over. We're just going to pop this on the tray. We're just going to take it over to the stove and get it coloured up. If you want it on a medium heat, you just want a nice golden caramelised outside. So we're going to go first down on the skin. Like that. and that's just to encourage some of that fat to come out of the lamp. And when that fat comes out of that lamp, Obviously that's what the rest of it is going to cover up in. And you just want to push it down in so slightly just to get that contact with the pan or on the pan chair, whichever you're using. Seal the ends. You just seal it in all that beautiful juices, keeping it nice and moist. So now that's pulled it up in the tray, it's going to go in the oven anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. Awesome, so the lamb's been in the oven now for about 35 40 minutes. It smells amazing. So, all we want to do with this now is just put it somewhere nice and warm and let it rest. And then, we're going to put this garnish together and we're going to cook this uh, beautiful Welsh lamb dish. So a lot of people ask why you rest meat. It's been in, in an oven at 100 degrees, so it's all tensed up. So, it's just getting everything just to relax down, all the muscles to relax. If you could straight into that piece of meat now, it would be almost raw in the middle and then it would go out to various degrees of cooking. What you want to do is that to cook that piece of raw, finish it off really nice and slowly and so you get a nice even cooked piece of meat with an even juice. So there's obviously a temptation to cook all of this veg while that's in the oven, but you don't need to, it's very very simple, it all cooks very quickly. So obviously you've got your potatoes and your asparagus, all we've done is just knock the ends of the asparagus off the hard bit. So we're just going to get a steamer basket. The potatoes are going to cook a lot slower than the, the, the asparagus, so we'll just keep checking them. We'll take the asparagus out and we'll let the potatoes carry on cooking. So we're just going to pop them over here. And that's just above some seasoned water. Obviously, I'm not going to go into massive depth because the recipes are going to be in there anyway for you to pick up. The next part of this recipe is we're going to make our own mint sauce. So what we've got here is a mint vinegar which we've made. So we've got that beautiful fresh mint out of our garden. And then we bring up some mint, some sugar to the boil, we throw the mint in. We let it set for about two minutes, just like you would a tea. And then pull the mint out and we set this with an agar agar, which you can buy now from any health food shop. And then that's just set really hard, that's all we're going to do with that now. We're going to cut it up like so. You can see how hard that's set. Put it into a blender, and then here you've got the same amount of vinegar and sugar. So 
basically you, you split the tea in half, you set one half, and you keep the other half back. This is where it starts to get a bit noisy. That's it, and you just want to blend that until it's really, really shiny, really glossy. Then you get yourself a sieve over a bowl. Tap this through the back of your hand. It smells absolutely incredible. Really acidic, really fresh. And what you've got there is it's like an, almost like a clear mint sauce. And we're going to add some beautiful fresh chopped mint over the top of this and some awesome crispy, fresh pickled onions. So you're getting the mint sauce getting it in a different way to what you would normally get in a jar. Next part of this dish is to just pickle these onions. So we've got beautiful, firm white onions, the scent of it, so taking out all of the outside bits that are soft. I'm going to get a mandolin. If you haven't got a mandolin, you can just do it with a nice sharp knife. It just into nice rounds like so. I'm going to put them on this plate. I'm just going to spray it with some of this mint vinegar. This is just some of the vinegar off the pan before. Put into a little spray gun. If you haven't got one of these, just spoon it on and leave them. Just like doing the season of tomato, like you would just leave it for a couple of minutes. And then this is a bit of onion oil. So all of the tops of the onions that we get in the garden, we keep the tops and we blend it with oil. And the oil gives you a beautiful, strong onion flavour. Like a, so you've almost made like a little vinaigrette there with that vinegar and that oil. We just leave that to marinate for a little bit. So these are beautifully ready to go. We just put these in little side dishes just to be enjoyed with the rest of the meal. So these are just steamed in the, the solid water. And then what we're going to do is we've got some of our roll and this is our own Jersey butter. Put a little bit on top of these parameters as well. Just let that melt. Get some fresh mint. Just on your potatoes. These potatoes are incredible. These are my favourite potatoes in the world. Just let them let that butter melt on there. While that's going on, we're going to take this lamb off the bone. It's beautiful and rested now. And then we're going to give it a little seal on the stove and then we're going to slice it up. Keep all the juices. A beautiful lamb slice of juices there. We'll brush them on the vegetables afterwards. So slice down the bone, making sure you feel the bone on the knife at all times. It's just beautiful, beautiful and thin. Grease them all the way through, nice medium. So get that back on the stove and then we're going to carve it up. Just going to move that around in that beautiful juice and fat in there, get it on that lamb, and then get it down on the stove. So all you want to do there is just re that skin on the outside so warm the meat back up and then just get it ready to eat. Take this back over here, just to carve. I'm just going to trim this up ever so slightly. Like I said to you before, obviously cooking this lamb, it's quite a lean piece of loin. Leave that fat on. You can always take that off now, you can see how easy it is. 
if you wanted to get rid of that fat now, you can just cut your knife and take that off there. It's just left with this really nice lean piece of meat. The difference is that lean piece of meat has been cooked under the fat, which means it's super juicy and super tasty. So just leave it on. And we've got our onions here now, which are just nicely marinated. Put them on top of that like that. Excess juice on the plate. Don't waste it. Put it on there. It's like a beautiful like onion vinaigrette. We've got this incredible mint sauce here that we've made. So it's beautiful, fresh, acidic, sweet. Ready to go on here, it helps cut through the fat and um, clean the dish up. Just get some, a little bit of fresh mint, straight over the top. And then, if you remember right at the beginning, we've got our pan. This is the pan with the soy sauce and the trim. It's just been cooking really, really lightly. That's an incredible, it smells amazing, it just smells really, really lovely. That's it. This is my ultimate way of eating lamb, especially Welsh lamb. Best lamb in the world as far as I'm concerned. With mint sauce, potatoes, asparagus, guys, enjoy.